Welcome to the official Board and Scale podcast where we talk about board games, we talk about snakes, sometimes we talk about other things like naked people who are in books, we talk about fancy upgrades for our current board games, we talk about our desires uh, about things up and coming in the hobby, and that's kind of the end of my introduction, and here are your wonderful hosts, me as always, Sebastian, and D-Weezy, and Kenzie, and Allison. Only one of us got the horn. That's okay. Just a quick one. Just a she quick can't hear one. anything. She, you're the only one that got the horns. I got the what? The horns. Hey. Yeah. yeah, you got horned up, okay? Um, hey, you already know what kind of show this is. Kid friendly. Okay. Um, just gather around, family table, yeah, dinner uh, table. And just a few of us are enjoying some... Some tasty little drinky doos uh, that we are not sponsored by. So just have fun guessing what we're drinking. We're going to keep them that way. <laughs> and if you are a brand manager somehow watching this, uh, you know, very popular show, shoot us a message. So we have a topic from one of our lovely listeners slash friend slash silver fox Slash, slash soon to be s- slash podcast single member and available bachelor. Oh, that's true. I'm He's trying to set handsome. him up. He oh. gave me his DISO last night. I don't know. Okay, what that means. well, that's you have to. <laughs> his diary in search without of contacts. You can't. You can't just be like, <laughs> oh, he gave me his DISO. <laughs> that's messed up, lady. You're you're married. Okay, I don't know to who, but look, your wife <laughs> is right next to you. Definitely not you. <laughs> your wife is right next to you. Okay, disrespectful. Anyways, uh, the topic that we have today, the first one we have is keeping cardboard components when we have upgrades. Uh, specifically, we talk about, we, we split this up in two things. Throwing away cardboard when we have upgrades that came with a game. For example, a Kickstarter and all of the exclusive, maybe component upgrades and stuff like that. Do you throw away the original cardboard pieces? I do not. I keep them. You keep everything. I have a, I have a sh- not a shelf. They're gonna say schlong. Like a, I do have one of those. Um, <laughs> a sh- a schlort. <laughs> I have like a a drawer, just filled with like bags and sleeves, and then like extra components, cardboard components from games that I've upgraded and Wait. or came with cardboard stuff. So you have individual, you have independent drawers with all that stuff? Yeah. You don't just leave it in the game box? No. no. You may as well be throwing it away. That's not true. Well, no, not really. You should just definitely throw it away. Yeah. You may no. as well throw it away. Because no. I don't want it, I don't want it in the box. Because then that's that's You're, something that's something extra that I, I got to like gonna, move yeah, out of the way. <laughs> wow. The other podcast is canceled. If you guys haven't done. <laughs> um. But no, I think uh, that's interesting, actually, yeah. because what if? Uh, okay, so I assume I couldn't say it. I assume that the idea is that eventually you might need them, right? But if you have five hundred tokens that are just different flavors of a wood resource, like at some point you have enough. Yeah, yeah, that so makes sense. Do you take that into account? No, because I don't have that many. Like, it's from, like, one or two games, maybe. Okay. Because I'm not... I don't get a lot of deluxe stuff. Okay. So... Well, I'm going to out you a little bit, okay? Uh-oh. Dwayne has almost 500 games, <laughs> okay? Excluding boxes and all that, and yes. expansions and stuff that he is counting as a game already with its original. Or so does that include them? That number... So, uh, the way I counted was... Perfect example is Unmatched. So Unmatched is one game, but there's multiple boxes for like two, three, or four characters in a box. So I counted each box separately instead of Unmatched as one game. Same thing with Dice Throne. I counted them as separate boxes and not just one game. Which I guess I don't know because Dice Throne that one is a little complicated. Yeah, because like we have the the season boxes. Yeah, there I do too. But you can also have the two person boxes. So how many of those do you have? Just the one. 
Okay. So Santa you have season Claus one, season and two. Krampus. Oh, that's why. I have Unity. season one and season two box. Yeah. Okay. And the Marvel box. Wow. Mm-hmm. We should. I was telling Kevin we should do a like free for all, like a sixteen player. Sixteen. However many is in both boxes. If oh you've my never played God. dice thrown before. With the only rule being you cannot attack someone that was just attacked. It, uh, It'd be like five hours. Long. It's Yahtzee. <laughs> It'd be crazy. <laughs> it's characterized Yahtzee. Yeah, yeah. You're just, it's Yahtzee, but you punch people. Uh, and your characters do different stuff. But anyways. It's on what you roll. You roll specific combinations to do specific abilities. I like, how, nice. I like how simple it is, honestly. Mm-hmm. Like, I didn't think Easy. I would like it as much as I did. Um, I it's very fun. <laughs> But back to the topic, I think when it comes to Kickstarter upgrades, feel free to correct me, we throw away extras. No, I do not. Oh, you're right. I lied. I lied to you. Everyone's I face right here. I have a whole little bin down there <laughs> full of all my leftover pieces. Things we've had for years, I still have sitting down there. This is from Godspeed Kickstarter from a long time ago. The game we that don't we even just, have That anymore? we got rid of, that I sold. This is all the cardboard pieces that we no longer need. We can make something cute. And these are not going to be used in any other They're context. Cool. Japan, like these are random country, not random. They're pretty, the classic <laughs> countries, you know, the big ones. Um, but we're never going to use this, you know? I'm going to make something out of it. Okay. A little collage. She definitely will not. Okay. And <laughs> secondary, do you count, for example, we have the Roxley chips, right? For a lot of games that have any kind of like bland-ish coin, we ju- we're just going to, yeah, Arc Nova. Those are not even coins, dude. B- <laughs> those are just black squares. <laughs> I don't understand because honestly, I feel like using that much black ink is not cheaper than <laughs> like picking a color. The Orleans coins. Some of them are oh. different like thickness. That's fine. They're at least, well, they're from, that's from or- the expansion. Orleans. But at least they're different <laughs> colors, you know, different. Orleans. The different denominations Sorry, are different Kevin. colors. Yeah, Orleans. Orleans. Yeah, home, home of the voodoo child's <laughs> children. <laughs> but like we will, I'm not going to say throw away. We will put away coins in games that we're like, okay, we're not going to travel with this game. So we'll just always pull out the Roxley's with it. Do you have a set of coins? No, I wish I did, though. Hmm. Um, they're worth it. I don't have like a I don't have a set of just like ones a generic like off use. to the side. Yeah, like generic use. I I have some that I'll throw in a game. Like I got I got ones for Rising Sun and Tokaido. I got like little metal yen coins. Tokaido. Tokaido. That's how you're supposed to say it. Sorry, my wires are all crossed up. That was probably a little bit racist, but sorry. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll go through it. Wait, who's getting canceled? Me. No, Did you. Did you say it? I'm, I think I'm the one that put a little flavor on it. I'm the darker one, so you. It's okay. Wait. <laughs> We're moving on. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, ladies over there. You're not just the beautiful decorations Aww. that you could be. Decorations would you is like crazy. To, would you like to. That was such a backhanded comment. No, Did was you it? Did I say that again? Oh, wait, let me get a reach. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm double canceled. I'm double canceled. <laughs> you guys are not just pretty faces. Do you have anything that you'd like to add to the topic? I mean, I save all ours. Orleans, we've had the geek up bits. For I'm gonna have to do so much editing in this one. <laughs> Go ahead. Enough for You're no specific edit me reason. Out? No, I would never. You heard that? <laughs> editing us out. I would never. It's gonna be a mosaic. <laughs> it's gonna be two still images. <laughs> No, I save everything. I mean, <laughs> like I was saying, we have the geek up bits that we got years ago. Years, like probably five years ago. Years ago. And I still have all those Orleans pieces. Orleans. Orleans. It's almost more cringe to try and say it. It like is. That. That's just why I just say, don't do it. Just say Orleans. Um, We're not well well traveled enough. If it was Orleans, it, it wouldn't have the little bloop on the top of the A. I also it's saved. Orleans. All of the cracks of Quedlinburg stuff. Yeah, from I also the geek have up all bits. Of that. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I just I'm scared. Oh, for Although what? our dog ate some of the castles of Burgundy ones. And the oh. thing, the, well, the thing for me is like, Winifred. oh, what if we sell the game? Oh, we're just gonna sell the deluxe stuff anyway. 
What's the point in keeping the deluxe stuff? Like, without the game. Yeah. Wait. What? What? Do you want to try that again? Hmm? If you're selling the game, what is okay. the point in keeping the deluxe stuff without the game? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. So for games that, that you sense. for games that you have a specific replacement, why keep it? Well, if, like if you have the generic oh, coins, here we go. Sure. Yeah, like Libertalia. I've got the metal coins for that, but I also kept the cardboard. Co- co- <laughs> <laughs> cardboard. Get the coin coin. Coin. I also kept the cardboard coins. So if I ever, probably never, sell Libertalia, I'll Libertalia, pr- I'll, Libertalia, <laughs> Liver. I'll throw the cardboard coins back in there and keep the metal coins for another game, another pirate game because they're booty. But you like that game so much, though. I do like that game. I love that game. It's not going away anytime soon. Are there games that we've accidentally sold that we took the coins out of? I don't, I don't think so, not, right? Not, I don't think so. We're I tell good everyone that I sell before. a game to. Um, well, I don't. I don't. Hey, and don't say we, okay? Because <laughs> I'm the marketplace, first of all. Second, in general, I don't usually. Um, if it's a smaller game, I won't like go through and check everything. If it's a because it feels kind of obvious, right? There's only four different components, whatever. If it's a bigger game, I, I usually will go through and make sure that like. At least everything's not thrown around. Um, but I do tell people when I when I sell a game, like, hey, if anything's missing, I'm not trying to scam you. Just message me and we'll f- like we'll fix it. If I can't find the piece or whatever, I'll just give you your money back, blah, blah, blah. Oh, my goodness. So I don't think because no one's ever messaged me back. I forgot about Josh. We have to find him the clink. Artifacts. We gave him the game that we had before. Without when the we cardboard up- artifact. We upgraded it and we didn't. I think they just got lost in me moving my sleeves over. Like, I think all the components just got mixed. Yeah. And he never got the clank artifacts. I doubt uh, Josh is watching this. So. Come on, Josh. Uh, Kenzie just Josh admitted. and Heimer. Fix it. Kenzie just admitted that we have not at all looked for them <laughs> since the <laughs> day that you messaged us. They're probably in the clank box. A year box. ago or however long ago. In one of those? Uh, no, in the main one. Oh, okay. Maybe. Don't we be sorry. That in years. Be better. Wow, that's such a mature and wise saying. It's almost like you were born before two thousand. It was like strangely close to the year two thousand. It was. We're not going to dox people here. I'm a nineties okay? baby. That's true. Oh, okay. You were a baby in the nineties. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> so was I. It's fine. But aren't you December of ninety nine? Yeah. Oh my gosh! You just made the cutoff. It counts. Count. Sure, it counts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sure. Whatever, man. I just a baby. <laughs> just a baby. <laughs> okay. Well, do we have any other specific? Speaking component? of babies. Oh. Yeah. No, I'm just. Oh, I, thought, oh, I thought you were going somewhere with that. I was like, <laughs> Dwayne is pregnant. <laughs> no. He's 14 months along, as you can tell by his gargantuan <laughs> size. <laughs> The baby has, instead of pushing his stomach outward, has just pushed his entire being upwards. <laughs> He's now eight foot three <laughs> and still growing. <laughs> eight foot four on a good day. Oh, okay. There you go. When you wear your high heels. Yeah. Um, we have, uh, I don't have anything else to say about that topic. Yeah, no, I'm good. I mean, we just keep them. Unless yeah. we can't. Okay. Can we get an affirmative from the bird in the corner over there? Um, all I've learned is that you guys are boa quarters. So I wouldn't say both. Okay. No, I meant like these two. Oh, okay. That's fair. That's fair. Oh. I immediately throw them all away. I have saved so many butts from my hoarding. So secondary, secondary, uh, to that topic, uh, expansion boxes. How do we feel? I can go ahead and answer that for us at least. Kenzie hates getting rid of the boxes of games that are kind of like more of our mainstay games. So, for example, we have the Wingspan Big Box. Uh, We have Tapestry Organizer that holds all the expansions of the game. So, um, maybe I'll pull some pictures up. But we have the Wingspan Main Box cover, Expansion Box cover, the Tapestry Box covers tacked up to our wall right now mm-hmm. because she refused to get rid of them. They make beautiful decorations. Yeah. Well, some might say they're tacky. 
Ooh. Hey. Ooh. Who would say that? Not me. I Not love friends em. of ours. I love them. I wouldn't say I that. <laughs> you better not say a single word. <laughs> okay. Well, um, <laughs> their podcast is very so fun. <laughs> uh, <laughs> did you hear what I said? Very is very so fun. <laughs> yes, I did. Hear you. <laughs> I said their partas. Partas <laughs> is gonna. Their partas is gonna be very so fun. <laughs> literally. <laughs> literally. 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 The literally, podcast literally. is going to be so freaking fun, guys. Okay, Dwayne, do you throw away expansion boxes? I'm going to be completely honest with you. I don't buy expansions. You know what? You know what? Respect. Because I feel like we get too invested in expansions and then, like, never play the game again because, oh, but we have to learn an expansion and set I, up all the extra stuff. I literally own two expansions. Well, all of all of Wingspan's expansions. And That's then, more than two expansions. Well, okay. For I own game. expansions for two, two games. games. All of Wingspan's. And Masked Man. And, <laughs> <laughs> and Role Player Adventures. Oh, sick. Ooh. Those Role are the only are expansions that I own. Um, I'm kind of... <laughs> if I... If I... Also, if I can't fit the expansion in the box in the base box i don't want to keep another box with other stuff in it if that makes sense like i don't want to lug around two boxes to play a game yeah that makes sense yeah i think most of us are good with just one box for most of our life you know no need for a secondary one we can stay loyal to the original <laughs> you know and i do keep those boxes by the way i do have the wingspan boxes strewn about uh, actually, no. I take that back. I repurposed one of the Wingspan expansion boxes to hold Massive Darkness minis. Oh, okay. Are they just thrown in there? Yeah. That is uh, heresy. <laughs> <laughs> that is absolute heretical. Well, the, the, it's the it's behavior. the it's the big bosses. So it's only like four that are in there. Do you it's, own Scythe? Yes. Do you have the expansions? No. You don't have any expansions for Scythe? No. None. No. That's completely I fine. have never played Scythe physical. It's physically. honestly, it's fine. I've you only ever played it online. You don't need the expansions. You know, shout out Stonemaier. I love Scythe and all their games, but you don't need the expansions. If you have four games and Scythe is one of them and you really love Scythe, sure. It adds to that. We but have for so many. you who have almost 500, us, <laughs> we're kind of teetering up to 200. It's too much. Yeah, it's too much for not enough, no, not enough juice for the squeeze. You know, uh, going going back to unmatched, would you count those boxes as expansions? Kind of, or their own game. I mean, you can play them by themselves, so I guess technically they're not expansions. Because they're kind, of, yeah, they're all and dice standalone. Because that does dice don't come in pairs, or you buy yeah. individual boxes. You come, in, they come in pairs. Okay, so because because be- un- sorry. You're good. Sorry. You're good. Keep going. Keep going. Because Unmatched has the two boxes of Deadpool and Bruce Lee, but it's just them and what their long? cards. Bruce Lee's so Oh, sick. so you need. You would need someone another else. thing. Yeah. So they would. And a board. An expansion. They would be expansions. Mm-hmm. But not like a box set. Mm-mm. If you have, if you have it to where you don't need anything else to play with it, it's not an expansion. Fair enough. So it's a standalone game. If you, well, it's weird. It's weird. It's weird. I would I would still call them expansions because they are expanding the game. They're expanding the original but game. I don't but think it so. It is also I think a game you can play on its own. Game. Like think of um, what's the new one? Like the new Maracaibo standalone. That's not That's an a expansion. standalone. It's a game, right? Would you add it into our... Oh, that's Maracaibo. It's in the world of Maracaibo. Do you think that founders of Gloomhaven and Gloomhaven are the same thing? Are Gloomhaven and Frosthaven the same thing? Are yes. Jaws of the oh, Lion Glo- and Gloomhaven and the, thing, the same definitely. thing? Frosthaven's an expansion. Founders of Teohuaticon? <laughs> and Teohuaticon? Well, does game? it also make a difference of, if, of whether you can play... 
Like mix and match? No, you can't. You can't can mix those. Can you do no, that I'm saying unmatched? like, does that make does that make an ex- does that make a a difference? Can you do that in unmatched? Yeah, you can play anybody with anybody. Huh. So that's that's what I mean. Like, like you can play Jaws of the Lion in regular Gloomhaven, right? No. 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 They're two different campaigns. Yeah, it's got like its own scenario book and all that stuff. So those are two separate games. Yeah. They just have the same yeah. name. I, I, I'm just, I'm just mostly playing around about Frosthaven being a 30 year expansion. <laughs> it is a separate game because you don't need Gloomhaven, which I think is like the basis of all expansions. Is you flip the box around and it says requires yeah. blah 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 mm-hmm. to play. Um, yeah. And honestly, if you, it feels kind of psychotic to throw. <laughs> a new standalone game into the original box to get rid of the new the new game. You know, like imagine throwing the new Maracaibo game all into the original Maracaibo because oh it fits. Question. Can I pick the next topic? Sure. You might not have too much to say about this. You wanna move on already? Yes. So fuck okay, I guess topic. we're done with that. <laughs> well it kind of fit in with the first one anyway. <laughs> okay, so it's kind of the same thing. That's fine. What are some game expansions that you think are absolutely needed? None. You don't think any? There's no games that were improved by expansions. Improved? Let me look around. What's your what's your keep keep talking while I look around? So personally, I think Marine Worlds was a great addition to Arc Nova. Mm. I don't think the game <laughs> wasn't great beforehand, but I that. really do think that Marine Worlds added a, the components. You just love Ark Nova. I do love Ark Nova. But I'm saying that something made it better. Get out of here. Bicey. Um, but Ab- I... Abyss. Go ahead, sorry. But you what? Like the drafting of the cards in the beginning. It changes cards for you. Yeah. Therefore, it pushes you in different strategies that the base game, if you know you want to go sponsor, you go sponsor and you... That's your thing every time. Yeah. Right? You rarely ever change your strategy because that's what you're comfortable with. With the new drafting of the cards, it forces you to kind of choose a different strategy because you have different types of abilities. Yeah. Um, the wave pushes you through cards more often. You see more cards throughout the game when they come up, obviously. I mean, last time, yeah, I feel like last time I we know, played last with time Kevin, played it did not happen at all. Um, just the components. The components make playing it so much more satisfying because they're just prettier. And I'm I like components. Yeah. I don't know. I think that it had like actual good quality to it that made Ark Nova better. Sure. Like I said, Abyss. Also Tapestry. Yeah. I love Tapestry, but it is way better with the like e- with just the arts expansion, it would be perfect. I literally have no comments. <laughs> Do you like tapestry? You play our expansions. Do you like tapestry? I do like tapestry. I like the arts expansion. Yeah. Wow, artiste. <laughs> so original. <laughs> so original. Arts and artiste. Um, the abyss, though, I do feel like the abyss expansion. The le- was it the Leviathan that added the extra monster board, where you have to like draw monsters Ooh. and then you're fighting them and gaining I rewards and stuff like that. Leviathan. I think so. I think it's that one. That expansion, I think, very cool. The Kraken expansion, meh, I could do without. You just get the wild berries, the pearls, the black pearls. Is that the called. Kraken or is that Leviathan? No, the Kraken's the black pearl one because you get the Kraken if you have the We have not played that game without expansions in so long. Yeah. But that's okay. I think... Uh, I think it's needed. Yeah. I think um, the last Wingspan expansion, was it Asia? Mm-hmm. Yes. The duet mode. That added duet mode. For two players, yeah, sure. It's it, it changes it just the game so it, much. It makes it a lot more even. More strategic as well. Any other games? But it also, does that count as an expansion or a standalone game? What? Duet? Asia. Asia? It's standalone because you could play it yeah. by itself. Because it came with all of the game components. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have one to add on? You only have two expansions, I so you must have felt one of them was necessary. Well, Wingspan uh, was because it was in the 
that was in my the beginning was of that my more board of a, gaming thing. So and I a, found Wingspan and I was like, oh yeah, this is my shit. It was a matter of the heart. So everything that comes out Wingspan, I'm getting. Do you have the eggs? Yes. <laughs> and then I've got little third party, instead of cubes, they're little birdhouses. We have those. And the food. I wonder where you got them from. Tokens. Our free tokens are crap. They are. They're pretty <laughs> Our bad. Our free tokens. We I wish them. we had they're done just, better ones. They're just too big. And then and then they came up with the geek up bits, and I was like, dude, those are amazing. We just didn't. We didn't. They weren't there when we were looking. Sad. What food tokens do you have? They're like, are they acrylic? Oh, ours are not acrylic. Ours are plastic. They're like three. Or actually, ours are three D printed. They might be, but plastic. they feel they look too big. Like they're too big for you to have. Like three food and it's like, I don't know. They just feel too big. Mm. They fit awkwardly in their cases. That's whatever. That's a whole other thing. Orleans. Oh well. Trade and entry. Do you have? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Adding the events, the different events, and not just being straight up a timer. Yeah, the different tiles. Yeah. The um, the market, not market. The selling goods, not needed, but it's it changes the point values. Yeah, it's an addition, and it's not just you you're not just screwed if you're only getting like small things, for example, because you might be able what to trade two small things for one of those cards that doubles up on points. What are you looking for? Oh no, we played it the other day. It's, it's on like the it's on the stairs somewhere. Oh. Yeah, it's you you missed out on it, man. Like it looks like yeah, it you like keep it's you keep missing. missing out on our like big games. Oh no. Yeah, because my uh, I'm trying to learn apiary though, so we can play that. You know, <laughs> bees yeah. in space. Bees in space. I'm gonna place oh, this guy know. here, little bee man, little bee man, <laughs> bee boy, bee boy, little bee boy, little bee boy. That was my nickname in high school. <laughs> there it is. Woo! Gotta get one in each each episode. Gotta get one in. Uh, if you correctly guessed how long it would take until that happened, that joke <laughs> happened, uh, you get nothing. Okay? Just go ahead and like this video anyway. You get a delicate quick kiss from me. A Apiary. This is apiary. Apiary. Yeah. Why don't you... Literally bees in space. Oh, you hadn't seen it before? No, she didn't know what it was. Do you want to play it? We're going to try and play it at some point. Um, Just play sure. it right now. It's not even opened yet. So. Just put it up right now. It's one to five. Just start setting it up. <laughs> You know who else doesn't open their games? Who? Oh, Kevlord? Kevin. <laughs> he plays our games. Oh, that's a good topic. That's how he knows to get Do games. Do you open games oh, no. as soon as you get them? My God, Ooh. yes. I would never have an unopened game in my library. Open one. No! Um, I will say... Kenzie and I typically will open games up as soon as we get them. That is like 50% of that's like 50% of my enjoyment. It's just <laughs> opening it's them up. Opening it. Smelling the factory smells. Just popping you know, out the pieces. Those sweaty cardboard and the new <laughs> I was gonna go somewhere, but me. Yeah, we're gonna cut well, that one. Me. <laughs> um <laughs> For those of you who, have, who are, <laughs> know about the industry, um, you know, these games are always produced in the highest quality facilities. Popping those punch boards, man. By the most fairly paid professionals. Okay. Dingling with the, the things. Dingling with the dongs? Yeah. You guys like dingling dongs? <laughs> this is a Costco dog game, at. Here. Oh, well, let me do it again. <laughs> Horrible. Look at that long dog. Man, them Costco dogs, man. Them bitches are mew. Oh my god. Can I pet that dog? Can I pet that dog? <laughs> Massive. Real trap shit. Okay, so while we just make ad libs for <laughs> the intro. <laughs> what were we talking about? Oh, leaving on open games. I feel like we've talked about that before, haven't we? When we so. let him open Libertalia. No, I think we just talked about that it was not open. I don't know. No, I'm pretty sure we were talking about unopened Okay, games. well, then we don't have to do that one. Um, Next. 
Yeah. Now, with the holiday season coming up, we can uh, talk about, I don't want to say it's a sensitive thing, but it's something that is thought about during this time of year. Getting gifts for gamers who, one, buy themselves whatever they want, you know, when it comes out, or two, have hundreds of games and you don't know what they would appreciate. I would say you just don't even try. <laughs> <laughs> just don't buy anything. Yeah, I think the best thing you could do is find out if they have a local game store, find out if they're if they have gift cards or something and just maybe get them a gift card. You know? Cuz that way they can choose their own game that they've probably spent time looking at and you don't get them something that they a already have or two have seen and have determined that they don't want. You said A and then two. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if it's not clear to you, I am not a mathematician. What is that? Mathematician. Okay. Yeah. Okay, next. I'm not a scientist. I got your joke, Sebastian. It's fine. No. Thank you. No. Mm-hmm. Clock You're tower? Don't get me clock tower. Clock tower. It will never get played. No. I know that hurts your I know that hurts you a little bit, Dwayne, but social deduction games. I don't like it. No. My entire aim in life is to socially appease people. Mm-hmm. And in a social deduction game I have to lie. And I feel a little bit sketchy being like, Let me let me get your secrets from you. I was gonna say, do you think credit cards are a shitty gift? Wait, you mean like the Visa prepaid ones? Or uh, gift cards, I meant. No. Thank you. I think if you, I think the fact that you are getting someone anything is thoughtful. I feel like I'm the only one with that opinion. It depends. If it's your spouse, don't get them a gift card. (laughs) I didn't say that because, you know, Kenzie was nodding over there. I get you gift cards every year, so... You don't get me gift cards. I do. I always get you a Steam card or an Xbox card. But that's, like, that's fine. You're not getting me a gift card to, like, Old Navy or something, you know? (laughs) (laughs) Like, you need a Steam gift card to buy games on Steam. So that, that to me, doesn't count, you know? I guess you could go in there and gift me a game specifically. Hey, why don't you do that? No. Why just give me gift cards? I'm not going to pick something for you. (laughs) I'm just kidding. Um, no, I think gift cards are fine. I think gift cards are a good gift. You know, I think that gamers are in general, I don't want to say, uh, maybe not. I was going to say gamers in general, in my opinion, are pragmatic and will understand that their options are better because they were given a gift card instead of just given a game. Mm -hmm. But in our first year or two of gaming, we were just buying anything and everything that we saw that was like over a seven on BGG, you know, that we liked the pictures on. But it's, it's sad though, because we've had people that have bought us games that we have like struggled to play and get played. And then we've struggled with, we don't play this. It's just sitting on our shelves. What do we do with it? Hey, Allison, where's that game that you got us? Stop. (laughs) Why? Are, stop it! Hey, look! Look her in her eyeballs. No. <laughs> <laughs> look her right in her eyeballs. What'd you do with my gift? Whoa! That I picked out specifically for you, Sebastian. What did you do she with said, her gift? She said, "Allison, let me tell you the truth." <laughs> she said, <laughs> "Well, you know this is lies, right now." <laughs> <laughs> hey, I would never lie. We don't lie on this show, okay? We tell one hundred percent truth. Why? All the time. Why don't we lie on the show? Because we say f- the first thing we say is "I'm not gonna lie," <laughs> and that that automatically in- implies that it is 100 percent the truth. <laughs> Allison, look, we played that game. What game? What, one Do you of, even know what game she the, got us? One of the four of them. <laughs> and look, we played it, and I was like, "Man, that was so awesome! I can't wait to play this again." And Kenzie, <laughs> Kenzie was already <laughs> squatting over it, taking a big hot steamer. Right on top of the game. <laughs> and that's how you know it's the truth. Yep. If you guys know anything about Kenzie, it's that she'll take a big hot steamer on anything. Anywhere. 
Anytime, anywhere. anywhere. Anytime, any place. Um, hey, don't wriggle around. You're like you're uncomfortable. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Games that you were looking for for a long time finally got right. I have been trying to play this. I've been asking people like online strangers, you know, people on the street. Hey, do you know about this board game? He Can had you? FOMO so I, hard. FOMO so bad. Um, I finally have it now, and I have not opened it. The nation is in because disarray. Because you have no one to play it with, because you bought it knowing that I wouldn't like it. Yes, uh, one. But two, also, I, there's something about when you buy a game that you spent so much energy looking for, it kind of expends, for me, it expends the like itch of wanting to play it. If I get the satisfaction of finally receiving the thing I was so scared of missing out on, mm-hmm. I'm like, ah, that was fun. <laughs> the economy is failing and political tensions are rising. Go ahead. The nation is in disarray. <laughs> the economy is failing. It's so much different with headphones and a mic. Isn't it? And that was the new intro for the new Doom video game. <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh, that was all Doom. Dwayne's voice. The Lemon Party. Lemon Party? The what? Kenzie's making a lemon face right now. Political terms. Oh, I'm so sorry. Did you know that a lemon, when you're talking about cars, is basically a car that's old and trash? The Lemon Party from Cars 2. What? Yeah. Have you ever seen Cars 2? Is it not the Lemon Lot? From Cars 2? Isn't it Cars 1? When he's like, make, when he's like, all the people in the Rusty's tent, and they're all like old junk cars. From Cars 2? No. You can't just keep saying Cars 2. <laughs> yeah. You were like three when that movie came out. Who? <laughs> no. When did it come out? <laughs> Yo, Cars 2 in the, the Lemon Party. When they're like Cars too. You in know? the lemon party. Is Cars like, Two where the cool cars are? It's the worst it's the worst one in the trilogy. Cars two the is the one in Italy, right? In France? France? No. It's the No, Cars Two is the hip hop cars. No, that's the first one. I've only seen it is the not the one. first one. No, it the is the not first one. The first one does not have the hip hop cars. No, no, no. Cars yeah. two is where they go. The delinquent to road has somewhere overseas. It's when <gasps> is when Mater takes oh, or eats I think the you're right. I think you're right, yeah. actually. Sushi? Eats the wasabi because he thinks it's pistachio ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dude, imagine that, that experience. That hey, did you guys come here to listen about board games? Cars board game? I hope not. Um, this has devolved into another thing. And since we've already devolved. What about Uno. And it, look, I'm going to just tell you right now, no. I'm going to save you 20 minutes. If you came here for war games, the board games are over. Okay. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. <laughs> the board games are done. We're going to talk about something else. If you ever wanted to design your own board game, just kidding. I wanted to weed out all of the would-be thieves who are so interested in board game design. <laughs> The only people we have left are truly loyal listeners who want to support us. AKA and Kevin. Tab. AKA Kevin. <laughs> um, He's the only one that's going to make it this far anyway. So yeah. <laughs> but, so I did want to talk about, because uh, we've talked about it before, but for the, for the podcast, <coughs> do you ever think about game design and game and designing a game yourself? And I'm, how far do you, you go with those thoughts? I've always had people, uh, well, like friends who aren't really board gamers, like they'll be playing a game. They're just like, you should, you should like create your own. We'll game. be playing game, and they're just like, <laughs> wow. I'm like trying to tell a. I know you're trying a, to tell a heartfelt yeah, story. A story over here, I'm making fun of you. <laughs> you know, it's kind of crazy. Anyway. They're just like, you should make your own game. Like, it'd be kind of cool. And I'm like, no! <laughs> because I'm not doing that. That sounds like a lot of math. It's also a lot of effort. 
and money. Well, in theory, and getting a lot of your game fucking blows, dude. Oh my gosh, dude! And <laughs> honestly, in in and how far do you go with the like? Because I've gone so far as to literally pull out like a white, uh, a, like a whiteboard felt thing. Go ahead. Can you just be honest for a minute? Yeah, for sure. Explain the amount of stuff that you've bought for your board game. Yeah, so what um, Alvin the Chickmunk is referring to <laughs> is, <laughs> is the supplies oh. that I have purchased in order to, you know, try and work on some game design. Uh, have I failed immensely every single time I've put it out on the table? Yes. <laughs> Do you have something to say? <laughs> okay, well, since she it doesn't have anything to say. <laughs> um, I have put out stuff on the table to start designing games. That's as far as I've gone. Like I've gone, what I imagine is the full way of thinking about designing a game without completing the design of a game. Yeah. Um, I've written a rough draft of a rule book. You know, I've tried to design basic concepts of like art styles and component sets and cards and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So pretty dang far. Uh, uh, nice. And I will say, I've talked to Dwayne about a certain game design that I'm interested in that I won't share. Um, but in general, I, to me, the thinking about game design is like just as, I don't know, enjoyable as playing a game sometimes. In that I don't want to set up and like go through a whole play in the game. But it's easy enough to just like think about certain ideas, you know, and play through a theoretical turn in your head and then be like, oh, well, that was fun. Bye bye. <laughs> and that game is pew, dusted. In another timeline, I made that game. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Yeah. A me from a different and timeline. And we're playing it right now. Yeah. Yeah. And the podcast. Maybe doing better or worse. Who knows? But oh <laughs> I did make that game. It's cool to think about sometimes. Yeah, in another right? timeline. In another I've, timeline. I've only ever thought of a theme and name for my game. I don't know how. I don't know the gameplay. I don't know what kind of game it is. I just know that. I just know the theme and and the. And the Do you care to share those? Are you things? willing to share? Yeah. If you're gonna make it. Make it cool. Make it good. So you've got animals. Mm. Of course. Of course. We classic known, plane. We should have known. That weightlift. Whether that be strongman or power gym or, or powerlifting or bodybuilding or whatever. Weightlifting animals. Here we go. Here we go. It's called jungle gym. Sick. And that's actually hey, pretty cool. Dwayne, Dwayne, Dwayne. That's is, actually sick. Wait, is it a dexterity game? Is it a dexterity game? I haven't gotten that far. That makes, <laughs> hey, that kind of makes sense to me. Because like it a dexterity game, it's like yes, you get to like animals. Animals is a theme that's very prominent, near, near and dear to you as well. Yeah, but when have you ever seen weightlifting in a in a in a board game? Every time I go watch you at Black Potion, buddy. Hey. Carrying everybody on your back. I'm like this. I lose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, Roxy the Riveter. What, what's her name? Rosie. Ro is it Rosie? Yeah, it's Rosie the Riveter. Not real feminist. They don't even know who she is. <laughs> we're just over here nodding. Like men! This. Now that we're men, we, we can't do anything. You can't do oh. that. Oh. We can't do what? No, me and me and Sebastian SpongeBob? are literally SpongeBob and Patrick. We are. I'm more. I ha, I'm more of a Squidward body type, but Accurate. I feel like <laughs> I feel like my spirit is more SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> when I walk around the house, it's <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and who's who's Kenzie? Karen. <laughs> is there a Karen in the show? The no. Plankton's wife, the robot, <gasps> the, the computer. Yeah, you'll never succeed at anything. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, 
pretty accurate. <laughs> Why are you laughing so hard? Oh my gosh. That's and then Allison is is a pearl. I'm a whale. <laughs> that's what you're gonna say. I'm like, thanks. Not, not yep, in the. I appreciate it. Not in the sense. Of, well, because she's. I mean. You're taking it in the wrong way. There's not a lot of there's not a lot of other like good characters. You're she taking can't be, you're taking part. Sandy cheeks. No, exactly. Oh damn! But nobody's <laughs> Sandy though. Sandy's like <laughs> badass. <laughs> Which you are not actually. You're more like the guy and that goes. Y'all aren't even from Texas. Up in the dis- I love That's true. You're not from Texas. Y'all aren't even from Texas. That's true. You can't be Sandy. I'm from the Midwest. Doesn't Who, count. Where is that? Her whole character is Texas. That entire region is irrelevant. It's just a black hole. Exactly. I'm where Texas. Are you from, Ken? What's the difference? She migrated yeah. here from Canada, by <laughs> the way. Illegal immigrant. Okay. A. ATF. Canada. CIA. Come get her. A. How's all the mooses up there? A. Do you drink syrup in the morning? <laughs> Got a cup of Tim Hortons in. Some Timbits, huh? <laughs> How much ice hockey are you playing? How are you now? How are you now? Good and you? <laughs> <laughs> this has devolved, guys. It has really, really devolved. <laughs> For the better, I think. Yeah. In my opinion. Same. Loopy episode number two. Number two. Here we go. Hey, we had something going in the beginning. Yeah, we had relevant. Did we? we had like a yeah. few. Not us. He's talking about their other episode. The un, like the one we don't speak. No, about. I'm talking about this one right now. Uh, no, yeah. right now, yeah. We had some oh, going yeah, on in the beginning. <laughs> Why are you not? <laughs> no. <laughs> no? Okay, I think we had some good topics. Okay, if you're still here, you haven't gotten sick of this. What was your what was the best thing we talked about? Um and you can't just agree with the pretty women, okay? Take take a take stock of the topics and who said what. And sure, if you're going to vote for them, that's fine. But then put your real vote under that. I think Kenzie being Karen was the best part. I know that's pretty tight. It's pretty good. Even your wife agrees. Okay. Okay. So I think that's fine. I'm There's chilling. Worst ones. Yeah. Like Pearl. <laughs> who else would you be though? Poor. Yeah. Right. Poor. There's. <laughs> Who what is it? There's Pearl. Damn. I said who who's who could who's there's Pearl, who Sandy. And what Mrs. worst character could you be? And Mrs. Kenzie Puff. said you could be poor. <laughs> Those are like the three prominent women in SpongeBob. Mrs. Puff, Pearl, Pearl, Karen, and Sandy. And Sandy. Yeah. There's gotta I'm be not one even more. a prominent woman. I'm a robot. Is there? Yeah. SpongeBob's mom, I guess. Right? Yeah, I was gonna say that. Wait, I thought it was his grandma. No, yeah, it's his he mom. Doesn't, no, he doesn't have a mom. It's his like grandma. <laughs> Damn, oh, it's their grandpa. It's his grandma. It's an orphan. For the longest time, I thought they were cookies. <laughs> I I could see why you thought that, though. I was like, why are they cookies? No, they're just like old sponges. Because they're Mr. Clean Magic Eraser shaped. <laughs> no, they're not. His grandma is a circle. To scrub toilets or what? <laughs> Why are we talking about this? What happened? Yes, Squidward. Meh, Squidward. Me hoy, me noy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I think that's me hoy, me noy. Me SpongeBob. You right. doodle. Okay, I think we're good. He helped me experience high tides. I think that's enough to wrap up the episode. <laughs> Uh, if you were hoping for, you know, real opinions to base or any board game content at all, yeah, maybe, uh, maybe this one wasn't the right one. Go ahead and feel free to watch the previous episode. I think that was a really good board game, or like the first twenty minutes of this one, or the first twenty minutes. You know, if you but if you got this far, thanks for watching. We hope you continue to watch, and if you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to see us again. Yeah. And again, we uh will be releasing soon. The finalized version of whatever their podcast is going to be, um, the book podcast, 
So keep an eye out for that. It'll probably be a different channel. And coming to Kickstarter 2024, Sebastian's uh, Board and Scale presents my new game. calendar. Um, Sneaky Snakes. That's going to be the title of my <laughs> nude calendar called Snaky Snakes. I don't know why I have two of them, but there we go. And it's going to be me and Sebastian. Yeah. We're going to alternate months. So you get some, you get some like, you know what? We'll just leave, we'll just leave it up to you guys. Surprise, okay? surprise. As always, I've been your host, Sebastian, and we have Kinsey, that nerd Allison, signing off. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, this is so cute. I haven't heard this before. <laughs> Woo! Goodbye. <laughs>